Hi everyone, welcome to our second week of Chemistry and Society at Rock Valley College. You guys did an awesome job in week one. I was thrilled to see that almost everyone did all the required activities, the discussion, the syllabus quiz, the lab. You guys, in chapter one homework, you guys did great in week one. Let's keep up the momentum as we move into week two. Take a look at what we've got going on and then some kind of tips and hints and things like that. Okay, so as we're on the front page, just a reminder, um, although most of you, it looks like actually everyone was able to do chapter one homework, that whenever you want to access the smart book, do a homework, do an exam, that you click on this McGraw-Hill Connect. I have links within the modules as well, but um, right there you can, well, I'm in student mode, but you should be registered, everybody's in, so that's all you have to click on. All right, so we're done with week one. Let's close it up. Oh, wait a minute. You say you didn't do you get the lab kit yet and you haven't done the lab? Well, as a reminder, I accept late labs with a two-point penalty per day. You do, you are required to complete labs one and two in the hands-on learning um, before you can open any other labs. It's kind of like having to perform lab safety the um, first week of class if you were taking one of our face-to-face -face laboratory classes. So those are still required. If you haven't done it, if you don't have your lab kit, you need to get going on that. Again, the bookstore, today's Monday morning, the bookstore is open. You can walk in and buy a lab kit and walk out with it. Um, if you have not ordered it, on, um, if you were planning to order it online, I would say it's too late for that. Um, you're going to be missing too much of the class. You're, at this point, if you don't have a lab kit, you either need to be purchasing it from the bookstore so you have it immediately, or you need to be withdrawing from the class. And um, I do have a late start, Chem 105. It starts in February. You'd be welcome to flip over to that section. Give yourself a little more time if you are still waiting on the lab kit. Otherwise, it's two points per calendar day that it's late, so get it in there. It's only good then this week for credit, but you have to do it either way, so I don't want to see you lose points. All right, let's close shop on week one, and let's look at week two. So you've got a start here that you can read through about, um, <clears throat> you know, what we're doing in the class in terms of reading, um, course objectives, things like that, all that good stuff down here. Um, let's go back though, because I'm kind of telling you that right now. There's a short little intro video there uh, about the chapter. There's PowerPoint for those that like to have a kind of a summary of the chapter as you go through it with PowerPoint, or if you want to open PowerPoint and maybe make notes, um, as you take notes as you read through the, and work through the smart book, you're welcome to. There's again that link to the McGraw-Hill Connect when you're ready to do chapter two click on that or again you can come over here and click on that and you're going to access it through our class. We've got our first movie this week. You're going to watch National Geographic's Human Footprint. It's a pretty interesting movie. I hope you enjoy it. And then when you're ready, let's review what you have to do for a movie. So once you watch the movie, you're going to write up a summary. In fact, you're going to type it up. It has to be written in your own words. It needs to be at least one full page of typed text. You can double space that page. 12 point Times New Roman font. You have to meet these requirements. So everybody, please, please pay careful attention. When you open up Microsoft Word, this is the default. 12 point Times New Roman. So you don't have to go looking for it or anything crazy like that. If you don't think you have Microsoft Word, don't forget, yes, actually you do. It's down here on Office 365. So if you don't have it on your own computer, you can either go to a school computer or you can actually have it on your own computer through accessing Office 365, which are the Microsoft tools that opens up in a browser. All RVC students have an account. Okay, so what's that one page uh, summary supposed to be? You're going to summarize the movie in a paragraph or two, and then, and don't forget, this is really important, how and why it applies to our class. Yes, I, we know what the movie is about in your summary, so that's great, but why did I pick this movie? That needs to be in there and detailed as well, not just a sentence or two, but explain, you know, specifics from the movie, how it relates to our class, and or why I picked it. Um, <clears throat> Please note here that one page limit does not include your name or title. In fact, you don't even have to put your name or title. I don't care about fancy things like that. You don't have to use references or citations to anything. It just needs to be in your own words, summarizing the movie and how it applies to our class. 
right? I do accept late movie summaries. Notice they're only worth five points, um, but it's one point per day. So, you know, be on top of that. When you're ready, click Submit Assignment and then browse and upload. Or if you're doing it in Office 365, you can actually just access it right there. All right, I'm not going to actually upload anything. What else do we have going on this week? Lab safety, your second lab. So again, you're going to go to the hands-on learning. You're going to open and complete lab safety. And when you're ready, when you've got your PDF file from hands-on learning, two files you're going to upload. Only two will be graded. Don't upload more than that. First thing should be your PDF that you get from the hands-on learning website when you're done. You guys, I think at this point now are familiar with how that works. You guys, almost everybody um, was able to, were able to obtain that last week. So great job on that. And then your second file that you're uploading. And the, yes, the system lets you upload more than one. You found that out in week one. A single picture. The picture needs to have a sign with your name, date, and you can just put lab two or safety or whatever. Um, and then... I'd love to have you standing in the kitchen, even if you want to take a selfie or wherever it is you plan to do the labs. I do kind of recommend the kitchen because you've got access to water, some things you're going to have to heat on the stove, things like that. But wherever you plan to do the labs, um, you know, have somebody, t if you need to, take a picture of you holding the sign or do a selfie. I want to see you with your sign wherever you plan to work. And as it noted here, if, if any of these things are missing, you won't get credit for the lab, it'll be returned. I'll let you fix it, but if it's submitted, you know, if I don't get to it grading until next week, late penalty is going to apply. This last week, I was grading and working throughout the week. I try to do that so that things are graded and back to you pretty quickly. But worst case, at the end of the academic week, which is Sunday night, um, things close up, and then Monday, I was like today, I would start grading, or if anything comes in the last day or two. So don't count on me getting in early like I did in week one all the time and, you know, reminding you of errors. Make sure you're meeting these requirements when you submit. And most of you guys did a great job on that. And then finally, if you have any questions that you want to share with the class that might pertain to the class that others would benefit from seeing, you can click here and make a post. Otherwise, you can email me, either one. And guys, that's all we have going on this week. I hope you stay warm. I've heard it's supposed to warm up this week, so fingers crossed. Have a great week, and I'll talk to you again at the beginning of week three.